Bavoir is a classic dessert that's usually consisting of whipped cream and gelatin. But I'm going to show you a really great healthy version using a dairy-free alternative, almond milk. It works so well with this. And instead of using a classic gelatin, for a substitute, I'm going to use agar. Agar. This is a great setting agent. It's actually made from seaweed or red algae. So this is 100% vegetarian. Now I'll measure out 250 milliliters, so one cup of almond milk to one teaspoon of agar agar. So while that's warming up, we can make our puree. So 500 grams of strawberries into the food processor. And for some sweetness, rice malt syrup instead of good old classic sugar. I love the flavour of it and it's going to accentuate the sweetness of our strawberries. So about four to five tablespoons. So lid goes on and I'm gonna puree them. Oh, have a look at this colour. That is just so appetising and it smells so good. Now it's time to add the agar agar to our warmed up milk and then using a whisk, we'll whisk that. We'll turn the heat off. And agar agar is such a wonderful product because it's going to set these bavoirs so well. Once it's dissolved, we can add this milk to our blender. Perfect. And now just to make sure that it's really smooth and there's not any clumps, we'll just blitz it again until it's all combined. All right, this is blended nicely. Now just to ensure that we don't have any seeds in our bavoir, I'm just going to strain it through a fine sieve. And I like to place this into a bowl that has a little spout just to make it easy to pour into our glasses. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. That's perfect. Now, just with a spoon or a little whisk, just gently force through that beautiful almond milk and strawberry mixture. You know, you really don't need to do this, but if you want that refined texture, it is worth the effort. All right, now we need to set them. I'm using glasses. You can use any type of ramekin you like. I love the glasses because you can see that vibrant pink colour. So we'll just pour these into the glasses. Look at that perfect colour. And now these go into the fridge. I'd give them at least three to four hours to set completely, or even better, overnight. Okay, four hours later and these bavoirs are set. Look how perfect they are. And you can serve them as is, or you can garnish it with some extra strawberries, which I love to do. And I'll just cut them quite roughly, maybe just into four, just so we can expose that gorgeous colour in the centre of these strawberries. And you just want a small handful per bavoir, and then just top them with the strawberries and just for an extra pop of colour, why not some mint? It's very 1980s, but let's bring it back into fashion. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? A little bit more there. I'm gonna dig in, these look so good. I'm gonna show you the consistency of this. Oh, perfect. Moosey, soft, silky, exactly the way a bavoir should be. If you're vegan, if you're dairy intolerant, this is the dessert for you. It is so delicious. Mm. Mm. And you know what, if you've had a really heavy meal, this is a fantastic way to finish it. A nice, light, fresh strawberry babois.